My name is Dr. Kurt Belk, and I'm a board-certified emergency physician and the medical director of the Urgency Room. I want to thank you for choosing us as your health care provider. The following video offers follow-up care instructions to your recent visit. I'm Dr. Peter Bagansos, a board-certified emergency room physician. You saw a healthcare provider at the urgency room today because you have a fever and were concerned about your health. A fever is your body's normal reaction to illness or inflammation. When your temperature goes up, it's a sign that your body is doing what it should to protect you. Keep in mind that a fever is typically not dangerous, but it can make you feel miserable. You'll probably feel better if you can reduce your fever by following the guidelines you hear in this video. During your examination, your urgency room healthcare provider didn't find any signs that your fever is from a dangerous or life-threatening problem. However, sometimes the signs of serious illness don't show up right away. If you have new or worse symptoms, you may need to be seen again at the urgency room or by your primary doctor. Now that you're home, there are many things you can do to take good care of yourself. Make sure to fill any prescriptions the doctor gave you and take them right away. Since most infections are caused by a virus, antibiotics won't help. If your doctor determined that your fever was due to something besides a virus, you may have received antibiotics. If your doctor prescribed antibiotics, make sure to finish all of them as directed, even if you no longer have a fever. Get plenty of rest and drink lots of fluid, especially water. The clothes or blankets you have on won't change your fever. Feel free to do what's comfortable for you. If you feel very hot, bathing or sponging in lukewarm water may help you feel better. Taking over-the-counter fever medications such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen can bring your fever down and may help you feel more comfortable. Be sure to read and follow the package directions and ask your doctor if you have any questions. And remember, it's important that you don't drink alcohol while you have a fever. Come back to the urgency room right away if any of the symptoms you have get much worse. You seem very sick. You're too weak to get up. You have any new symptoms such as abdominal pain or chest pain. You're short of breath. You have a severe headache. You're vomiting so much that you can't keep fluids or medications down. You have confusion or seem unusually drowsy. You have a seizure or convulsion. You're not getting better after three to five days. Or you experience any other symptoms that worry you. If your urgency room doctor told you to follow up at your clinic, be sure to call right away to make an appointment. Even if you're feeling better, it's a good idea to check in with your doctor. If you have any trouble getting this year regular doctor, come back to the urgency room for a follow-up visit. The information in this video is meant for adults with a fever. If your child has a fever, please refer to the video titled Fever in Children. Whenever you're concerned about your health, the experienced doctors and staff at the urgency room are here for you. We hope you feel better, fast. These videos are intended to provide helpful health information to the general public. They are not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat health problems. And you should not use these videos in place of a call or visit to a medical professional. Talk with your physician about the proper treatment for your particular condition. And always follow your physician's advice. If you think you need an ambulance or are experiencing a medical emergency, please dial 911 immediately.